Right, let's get this road on the show. So, the internet is really upset with YouTuber Gregory Jackson. <laughs> no, that's Michael Jackson. Shamona. Nope, still Michael Jackson. This guy, Gregory Jackson. Onision. Go nuts on my nuts. Yeah, yeah, I'm old. Get over it. Welcome if it's your first time here. If not, welcome back. So today we're going to be having a look at Onision, Greg Jackson. All around scumbag an alleged groomer of young girls. Now, if you've never heard of Onision and don't know why he's famous in the first place, it's because of this. I'm a banana! What happened to your clothes? I'm a banana! I'm a banana! <laughs> now, Onision has been on YouTube since 2009. He's got just over 2 million subscribers on his main channel and 1.6 million subscribers on his second channel. But his subscriber numbers are dropping faster than a flat earther's IQ, and this is why. Meanwhile, this girl's like a um, 8 out of 10. Yeah, solid 8. But Greg, what if she's 15 years old? Uh, well, last time I checked, we're allowed to have opinions about people. It's not a perverted thing. So, Onision, the giant douchebag, became famous on YouTube after making a parody video called The Banana Song. It gained traction after being shown on a TV show. The video currently has over 77 million views. And it's simply Onision jumping and screaming like a t dressed up in a banana suit. But it was enough to skyrocket him to mid-level internet fame. But these days, Onision is better known for his controversial content. Controversial may be a bit of an understatement. Where he likes to objectify women by rating them. Now, Onision had a forum where his viewers could submit photographs of themselves and he just didn't seem to care whether those photographs came from girls that were not of legal age, we shall say. Hence him being called Onision, because he's a giant nonce. Anyway, Onision and his wife Kai, who is now his husband Kai, just stick with me, I know it's confusing, had a they had a thing for grooming underage girls. Enter Sarah, a former friend and alleged partner of the pair. Sarah shared her story in the greatest detail with Chris Hansen, who's been collecting statements from all parties involved with Onision and streaming them on YouTube. She said that she initially began a friendship with Kai, known then as Lainey, in 2014 after Sarah had just turned 14 years old. This is where the allegations of grooming stem from. But what makes this even more worrying is whilst all this was going on, Sarah was actually in their care. They were her legal guardians because she came out of the foster care system. And you can easily find so much information about this online. Tweets like this, for example. Onision and Kai intentionally skated the legal lines when they manipulated Sarah and groomed her for their sexual intentions. They're predators. But there is little legal protection for victims in these types of situations. Kai even tweeted this. At Sarah Bear 8500, I'm grooming you nicely. And then they go around protesting their innocence. Are you really this stupid? Yeah, so they just constantly scream, we didn't groom anyone, we did nothing. But the internet is a dangerous place because once something is uploaded to the internet, it's there forever. Even if you delete it, you can bet your bottom dollar or pound that somebody will have downloaded it and that video will come back to haunt you. You guys have this concept of grooming, right? But that requires you have s with somebody right after they turn 18. We had already had romantic conversations and talks um, when I was 15. I said that something has happened with her or I cuddled in bed with her. That none of that has ever happened. Never. I like go to sleep. Good night. And that's the thing about the internet. You cannot lie about something if there is video evidence proving that you've lied. And then there's Billy, another young girl, impressionable young girl, who that they definitely didn't groom. And there's absolutely no way this picture's to be found online of Onision's wife Kai kissing Billy. Damn you, internet! And she absolutely would definitely not have a bad word to say about Onision. I hope you're happy. You completely st like destroyed all of my pride. You told me to get a tattoo saying I'm a liar, like a tramp stamp. 
You told me to shave my head. You told me to dye my hair green, shave off my eyebrows, and get an ugly tan. Like, is that not abusive to you? Do you think that's a fair trade for me telling you that I smoked weed? Like, that's what you think is okay? I betrayed your trust? Well, he just seems like such a nice guy. <laughs> and then there was Shiloh. Actually, you know this video's never gonna be online, right? No one will ever know how much I abuse you. Yeah, remember what I said about videos on YouTube or anywhere in the internet coming back to haunt you? Well, this video was deleted almost immediately. But it doesn't take long for somebody to download it and then re-upload it. Because you can find this everywhere. And this next clip is pretty disgusting. It's ridiculous that you think you'll be successful. How many times do I have to tell you everything that you want to put online goes through me first? Once again, Gordon? Thanks, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, hey, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. No, Greg, I don't want any. Open your mouth. I don't, I don't want any, Greg. Ow! Ow, that one really, really hurt, Greg. I'm wearing oh, that shorts. candy cord hurt. That candy cord really hurt, Greg. <laughs> oh, the, that candy cord was like a razor blade. <laughs> Hurt, Greg. Now if you're a regular viewer you'll know I usually cover conspiracy theories and flat earthers so I'm used to dealing with idiots but what I'm not used to dealing with is somebody who is mentally abusive. If, if he punched one of them they'd have a bruise, a black eye but that would heal. But the type of damage he's inflicting on these young girls is emotional damage and that's the kind of thing that never heals. It stays with you for life. This is actually a really hard video to make, so I'm going to revert wow. to what I do best. Wow. Because poor old Gregory, Onion Boy, is having a bit of a meltdown. A very public meltdown. So let me do what I do best. It's time to point and laugh. Uh, I was on my Patreon uh, Discord today, and you guys um, went ahead and let me know. Apparently you're sending the FBI after me. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know how disappointed I am. Who is he disappointed that the FBI are coming for him? Or is he disappointed that he's been caught? And before you judge me for laughing at this sort of thing, because I know at first glance it may seem cruel, somebody's upset, very emotional, and I'm sat here laughing at him, but just take a look at his Twitter, and there's a really good reason why I find this so funny. Because he claims himself that the videos aren't even real. So, if somebody's in this much trouble, and they're still playing around with it as if they think it's some kind of joke, then, uh... You know? <laughs> the FBI, the Federal Bureau of the <laughs> Investigations. Uh, <laughs> I need a nap. I need a, I need a nap. Or, uh, what are you doing? Uh, Ooh, us? What are we doing? Hmm. I think we're just reporting you to the proper authorities for your disgusting behavior. But there is more than one way to skin a cat, obviously. Wow. 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 So you guys are so into yourselves. Like, you are so committed. I can't argue with that, really. <laughs> to censoring innocent people. Innocent? That you're just gonna go and try to get my Patreon deleted now. We didn't get your Patreon deleted. You did that by yourself. Oh, you have an opinion of me. So you're just gonna try and ruin my entire career. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Oh, I'm sorry. The FBI never showed up. Oh, I'm sorry. The cops are all about Onion Boy because turns out didn't break a single law. Now, I'm no legal expert, obviously, but I would imagine that the FBI are putting their case together before approaching you. Gregory. So what do we do? Oh, well our opinions have been invalidated so many times of him that we're gonna disable his Patreon. Wow. 
Wow, you would really do that. You would really do that! <laughs> it's a laughing parrot. What's not to love? Anyway, the reason this Patreon account was removed is as follows. On Sunday night, Onision tweeted screenshots of a private text message between himself and YouTuber Billy Dawn Webb, who is a former fan who has recently accused Onision of pressuring her into sex with him and his current partner Kai. The tweet that he showed had her phone number in it, which is doxing, which is strictly against Patreon's terms of service. A Patreon spokesperson confirmed that it is considered those actions to be doxing, which violates his platform's rules and justified Onision's ban. Yes, we removed Onision from Patreon as he is violating our bullying and harassment as it relates to doxing. So, who got your Patreon deleted? Greg? You tried to do the FBI, didn't work! You tried to do the police, didn't work! So instead, you resort to the paycheck! And you got it! You got it! All my patrons have been deleted! <laughs> Is it just me? Or does Gregory appear to be a fan of the Joker? I know there are an absolute buttload of videos on YouTube already about Onision, so I'm not going to labour the point much, but the final thing I want to look at is his apology video. If you can call it that, because the only thing worse than not being apologised to is an insincere apology. Guys, I just wanted to say I am uh, sorry about the last video I posted, I was a little was a little out of control and I just wanted to let you know that I have thought about it a lot and I wanted to apologize to you guys for being so irrational and maybe a little schizo. Um, I've been up for about 20 hours now and uh, ever since my Patreon got deleted I haven't been feeling very good. So if you could forgive me, I would appreciate that. I would feel good about that, and, uh... <laughs> People have already made videos about me, and it's fucking humiliating, because we're all over the place, and I don't know what to do about it! Oh, People have made videos about you. People have made videos about me as well. Suck it up. And when you're going to apologize, how about apologizing to all the women that you've abused? But no, you won't do that, will you? There's a very high likelihood that Onision will claim this video. Because that seems to be his method now. Anybody that's making a video about him, he's crying. And complaining, but then claiming all the, <laughs> all the ad revenue from the video. So, he'll probably do that to me as well. <laughs> it's called fair use, you loser. Get over it. There's videos about me right now where people are saying terrible things about me. There's so Have you ever Googled my name? Well, there we go. Onision. All around scumbag and thoroughly horrible person. <laughs> if it's your first time here, thank you very, very much for making it all the way to the end of the video. These are my Patreons who I would like to thank extra specially. It's because of the support of my Patreons that I've been able to make this almost a full-time venture. So thank you guys, I really, really appreciate that. If, have I already said if it's your first time here? I'll say it again just in case. If it is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications. And maybe share this video, you might as well. There's so much stuff floating around YouTube about Onision. Why not? What harm could it possibly do? I'm the Creaky Blinder, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video, which will be back to my normal content. Thank you guys, take care, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.